When I first filmed Antonio, I found him a fascinating, vibrant man. Uh, you, you look at the mystique, uh, they do many things. Right? They, they sing and they dance, you know, they don't just sing, they don't just dance. They sing and they dance. I sing, I wear hats. But, as I'd known even before I'd met him, Antonio is a man with a dark side. Kids uh, see a uh, human dead legs and they're like, oh, Mommy, look at the fucking legs. Well, yeah, I wear the hats, but the hats is like wearing a dance on my head. What I was to find out was that in that preliminary meeting, I'd only skimmed the surface of Antonio de Bergstrom's deep black past. I found Antonio on Brighton Beach, looking for inspiration for his latest educational puppet show. I started by asking him what he thought was the most important thing a child should know. What's the most important thing that you think a child should know? I think he should uh, uh, be able to play low football. He should be able to uh, eat with a knife and fork. He should progress from uh, a litter into the toilet. He should uh, be able to be an, a human uh, and do the things that we can do. If uh, you have a six-year-old, this is my favorite audience because with a six-year-old, the mind is like um, Play-Doh. If they are 14 or older, then their mind is just like shit, like uh, ore, or, or lead, PB. It is uh, fickle and not very good. But the question had to come. I asked Antonio about his mother. Yes, uh, I miss her. But I killed her, so I can't uh, say that. Really? Uh, I do. I do think about her. And also, I have to think about her a lot of the time because the Brighton County Council will make sure I never forget that I uh, killed my kindred. So, so, so you, haven't, you haven't been sent to jail at all? No, I've been given a fine. Uh, a fine of 80 pounds like you get if you park on the double yellow lines or uh, stay in transit while you should be uh, moving. So I don't think I will ever do more murder. No. You'll never kill anyone again? No. But Antonio hadn't just been fined. Brighton County Council valued his educational puppetry so much that they'd swapped a jail sentence with a gruelling set of shows for the local children. I've been forced to do three uh, puppet shows a day. Uh, one theme will be on the vegetables, one theme will be about uh, racism, and the third theme will be sport. If you would like to see. Well, I would, yeah, I would really like to see. Uh, let me get ready. Stop this camera first. Do you like Fifth Richards? That is my voice. Could you tell me? why contracts are worth nothing in football anymore? Well, it is because of the Bosman ruling. The Bosman ruling was a contractual disagreement in the 1990s by a goalkeeper named Bosman. He illustrated the conceptual idiocy of contractual law by saying that footballers should be allowed to move to which clubs they wanted when their contracts were up or could have the contractual legal obligations. Oh, yes. Do you also like goals? Yes, yeah, they are nice too. Have you ever thought about having children yourself? I have children. You have children? I had children. You had children? Is yes. It? They were too uh, screaming and uh, I could not deal. And uh, I mean, it, it is a bit funny, I suppose, but they don't tell people because uh, it's... Uh, if the county council find out, they'll probably say, they're yeah, not fine. I have not got too much money. I put them in a, a picnic camper that I bought from, uh, from M and S. And I removed uh, the Dolce Latte and put in Flanky. And I removed uh, the lemonade and I put in uh, Baby Sham. I took out some cold cuts of meat and put in uh, Ginger's feet. You see, yeah, I uh, don't like uh, the men or women to have the operation where they kill a child. 
because each child should have a nice time. And so to put them in a basket and put them in the English Channel is better. It's much better and fairer. In the end, all I really wanted to know was whether the man who had killed his mother could ever be happy. Jonah, with the sea coming to one's feet, who could not be happy? Except maybe my children who are in a picnic camp all the way in France.